for me. Quakerism is a way to develop my personal relationship with God um, in a supportive community, and it's a way that functions, that works well for me. I became a Quaker at the age of six, or my family did, so it's very familiar. Uh, and I need, most importantly, my relationship to God every day to get by. <laughs> Friends have spoken a lot about Soledad's flavor and protection and uh, such things. I'm more focused on the part about the broken world. Uh, light, of course, coming from Finn, we're familiar with that, being a light for others. But in this broken world, I've recently been introduced to the to new concepts of breakage that inspire me, not the dismal ideas of everything falling apart, but the good stuff about breaking, breaking your heart open to Jesus, and breaking out of bad patterns and breaking into new ways of being. There is a lot of hope and we can do a lot together. And I have learned this in the first few days of this conference. It's amazing. Norway Yearly Meeting has some very exciting projects going on in Africa. The Change Agent Peace Program projects and additional projects in the Middle East. I'm especially, being in Afri Africa, excited about the peace projects. I hear from our Kenyan friends testimonies of violence that are heart-wrenching. And I also hear other testimonies of, for example, I didn't know why we needed to work with peace. We had peace. And then the violence came in the election. These projects are very important. I'm very proud that, glad that Norway Yearly Meeting supports change agent peace programs in Eastern Africa. There are some very ancient values that are similar to Quaker values that we find in ancient cultures. For example, the Aymari. Last night at an interest group, I learned about these Aymari values and how similar they are to Quaker values of reciprocity, of caring for the earth, of thinking with your heart. It seems almost like we have to go backwards in time to make things work in the future.